Today I'm going to share with you how you can record your own guided audio meditations or other audio recordings. Whether you want to share them with clients and friends or even create your own new products, you're going to be able to do this on your own relatively cheaply and pretty easily. I want to share with you one of my favorite tools. It's called Audacity and it's free audio editing and recording software that you can get either for PCs or Macs. Now I know it can look a little intimidating and there's a lot of extra features that you can certainly go down a rabbit hole and learn, but I'm going to show you some of the basics to get you started. I've opened up Audacity and there's a few things I'd like you to check before we get started. First, I want you to make sure that your project rate is set to 44,100 kilohertz. This is the standard audio rate. Next, you'll want to determine if you want to record in mono or in stereo. Mono is one channel. It means that it is one file for you to edit. If you record in stereo, you'll get two channels and that will allow you to modify the left and right inputs. I honestly pretty much record in mono. It's easier to manage and to manipulate. You might want to use stereo if you're working with music files and you really want to modulate the left and right channels. Next, we'll want to test our levels, and that'll determine if our microphone input is too low or too high. If it's too low, it's going to be too soft to hear, and if it's too high, you're going to hear distortion. First, I want to create a test recording. To start recording, I'll click the Start Record button here, and you can see that my audio recording is being tracked. Next, I'll want to check my levels. Your levels are located up here in the top bar. Ideally, you want to keep your red bar as big as you can get it without pushing this blue bar to zero. The blue line will stay at the loudest point of your whole session. So if I do something like laugh, ha 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 ha, you'll see that the blue bar gets pushed to the right. To modify this volume, you can use the microphone slider here to adjust the settings. If you're testing and it pushes all the way to the right, you'll want to adjust this input slider for the microphone down to the left. When you talk and laugh, if the sound never pushes beyond this negative 24 value, go ahead and turn the mic volume up. Each time you make an adjustment, you'll want to test again to make sure you're happy with the changes. Once you've got your level set, you're ready to record. I've gone ahead and created a test recording that we can use to play with to edit. The first thing I like to do is to normalize the audio. Normalizing applies constant gain to the recording to bring the amplitude up to a norm. To do this, you're going to go to Effect, Normalize, and you'll leave the default settings. Go ahead and click OK. You'll notice that the waveforms get larger. This is going to amp up the sound of the audio. You can always test it by clicking play. Next, I like to edit out any of the extra ums and bits that I know are already in the file. In this case, I know I've got a couple of extra clicks. You can listen to it here. No crime. And bad mistakes. I've made a few. Those two clicks right here, I know I want to get rid of. This is also why I like to work on a big monitor. I can visually see where the clicks are. If I want to enlarge the view, I can go to view and zoom in, and it'll help me see exactly where I need to cut. I'm going to put my cursor where I want to start the edit. Then I'll drag it over the waveform, and then I'll click delete to remove it from the file. Now I can click play. And the click is gone. You can do this for anything like ums or extra sounds that you want to remove from your file. I'll often leave a little bit of extra room at the beginning and the end, and you may want to clip that as well. Next, I'll want to remove some background sounds. Now, I did this test with my HVAC running in the background, and you can hear it when I play the audio. It's pretty faint, but you can hear just a little bit of a hum in the background. To fix this, I'll select that front bit of audio. I'll click Effect and then Noise Removal. I'll click Get Noise Profile. Then I'll select the entire audio file by clicking Command A and going back to Effect and Noise Removal. For now, I'm going to leave the default settings and click OK. You'll notice a slight change to the waveforms. And then when I play the audio file again, that extra sound is totally gone. This is great if you've got maybe a constant hum in the background, like an air conditioner or an HVAC unit. If you'd like to do more to your audio file, feel free to play with the effects to modify the recording. You can do things like bass boost to add richness to your voice, and you can also modify the EQ settings to even out the highs and lows in your voice. 
Now keep in mind, some of these effects are best used in limited amounts. Now you should be able to record and do simple edits to your audio file. 